Robert Vernon here from Digital Arts, and I want to show you today how to pre-flight a file in Acrobat. There are some great tools built into Acrobat that will really give you uh, all kinds of great information about your file. And I'm going to go ahead and open up a file here. And the reason we pre-flight, of course, is to catch all the problems that uh, may be associated with a file with a PDF before it goes into production. Uh, we want the presses to run smoothly, we want pre-press pre to uh, not have to, have to call the customers, and we want everything just to go as smoothly as possible. So I've opened up a PDF here, it's a one-page PDF. You can check the size by putting your cursor in the lower left. And again, it's 8.5 by 11. Now to pre-flight, we're going to go up here to the Advanced tab, and all the way at the bottom you'll see Pre-flight. A lot of people don't realize it's there, but if you select it, you'll see there's, there's a lot, lot going for it. Now when you, when you pull it up, you're going to see you have choices of all kinds of different profiles. If it's going to go to SheetFed or Web Press, you'd select these. Um, we do digital printing, so I'm going to go ahead and select digital printing here, color, and we're going to go ahead and analyze the file. I'm going to click the Analyze tab, and it's going to go into the file and give me a great report. Well, we see here there's some transparency issues. I'm going to select Overview, and let's just check the color spaces. Well, we see we have RGB. And we also can look at the fonts, Comic Sans MS. We can look at the images again. A lot of RGB. Um, I can I can go back to profiles and select analyze and fix. Now it's going to ask for a new name. I'm, I don't want to overwrite the original file, so I'm going to go ahead and put DAI in front of it and save. And now it's going to go ahead and correct those problems and give us a new report after it does so. Right now you can see it's converting RGB to CMYK, it's flattening the transparency, and now no problems are found. It's also recompressed LZW zip. Of course, LZW is a problem with a lot of rips. And it's that easy. So really, go ahead and experiment with it. I think you'll find that um, this will really simplify your workflow and allow you to catch a lot of problems earlier in the uh, workflow that you have in your shop. If you have any questions, give me a call or email. You can reach me at robert at digitalartsimaging.com or at 908-237-4646. Thanks.